We've been packing the whole morning. I'm like exhausted from packing. Now we just need to put bikes onto the tailgate and uh, we're ready to head to Mammoth. Five hours or like five or six hours. Should be a really pretty ride. second but look how pretty it is there look at this mountains look at that this rain there Over there see it's rain and it's so quiet it's pretty amazing huh Look at that, that's so pretty. We made a pit stop. Copper top BBQ. Voted number one in the US. The husband. We're enjoying his meat. No, you got a roll on the side of me. Oh. beautiful trees the air is amazing here I'm drinking my coffee and Michael is making some breakfast and we're gonna head out on hikes because it's supposed to get rainy today so I wanna um, wanna hurry up and do as many things as we can before it starts pouring but <sighs> I look a little puffy, but it's okay. We're showing everything on YouTube, right? So we finally got ready. We woke up really late. Uh, so this day is not going to have as many adventures as I, I hoped we would. Um, but yeah, this is our little area where we live. I would show you inside the condo, but it's our friend's condo and I just don't know if that would be okay with me showing it. So I'm going to give them privacy. But yeah. Mammoth, day one, um, here we go. We're gonna go see what's open right now. Not everything is open because of coronavirus. Inline skate, skateboarders, and similar devices prohibited. I can't even rollerblade here? No, That's you bullshit. You can't use any devices. State Park to oh yeah, and let's go see yes. if we can get a good view here. Year, this will be pretty. Of these it looks very nice. Plus we can get a view that the Devil's Post file is closed. Wow. Look at that. And then... Look at that. Well, the Devil's Post pile is closed. That's annoying because I really wanted to see it. It has this really cool rock formations. But at least we can get a beautiful view here.
we found the most serious bench of all benches. Check this out. Bench made for bears. <laughs> it was made by bears, actually. Or by bears. Look at that. You see all the claw marks? Yes. Oh, Look at that view of the minarets. There's Clyde Minaret. The tallest one is Clyde Minaret. And then just to the, well, the tallest one is Clyde Minaret. And then just to the left of the tallest one, the tiny little peak is Michael Minaret. This one? Yes. Oh, Moranis Minaret is not available. It's all the way over there. Yeah, we where, where we can't see. It's over there. It's great. But look how ragged that is. It's the minarets. Had a little lunch and now we're gonna see something that I'm really excited about. We're gonna see the earthquake fault. Oh wow. That's a big crack. Got a bad crack problem. This is amazing. You can go up and look down from over there. Look at it and it goes and it goes and it goes. This is so exciting for me to see. I don't know why, but I'm like obsessed with, with this kind of a stuff. How our earth was formed. So cool. <clears throat> so cool. Oh. stop at home to pick up our bathing suits because we want to go check out the hot springs and actually the sun came out and it's much more nicer here so it's perfect time to well I hope they're open actually but if they are it will be amazing to soak well looking forward to it here it's kind of like in the middle of the plane I would always think that hot springs is something that's only in the mountains but anyway so we need to walk this little path now all the way there and see what's there I think there should be over there look at this lake bed I guess I don't know what's white thing what's white is it like some minerals kind of.
Good morning. It's a wonderful day in Mammoth Lakes. It's our day two here. Uh, I'm on our balcony. Ugh, stretch. Uh, I'm on our balcony and uh, the weather has changed. It's no longer overcast. It's really bright and sunny. It's cold um, and it's very windy. So we'll see how um, how we'll do today uh, mountain biking. That's the plan. Uh, I hope it's not gonna get too windy. I mean, we shouldn't. It shouldn't really because we'll be in the forest. Last night was interesting because we picked up dinner from this Mexican place and we started talking to the lady who's working there and like she was just telling us about like how this community has been affected by COVID and like how many local spots are gonna be closed and uh, or changed. It's just really sad said time it's really difficult to live through the time of change I made my braids that I haven't made in a really long time because my hair wasn't as long um, yeah I'll take you mountain biking with us we're finally ready to go and uh, correction we're not gonna go mountain biking we're gonna go oh, light we're gonna go uh, road biking on the bikes that we actually brought with us because Michael uh, doesn't have his armor for mountain biking and he feels like he may go too hard and it can end up being dangerous So today we're just gonna be using our bikes and uh, ride around Nine thousand feet. So, yeah. so, first five minutes of biking proved to be really tough at this altitude, and with this wind, I can't catch a breath. <sighs> Michael seems to be doing all right. Look at him. He's quite all right, and I'm like. <sighs> so, we decided to walk it. For the rest of the uphill but even walking has me like out of breath in one minute it's crazy 8,000 feet elevation <sighs> Can't breathe here. 
So today is very windy, that's why the concentration of CO2 here is not as dangerous for us today. But on a regular day, you don't want to be here. So it's kind of a, both a blessing uh, in disguise that it's so windy today. I'm gonna go check out the lake. Look at that, there's some white walkers stuff here. my point that this is some Game of Thrones story unraveling right here. Look at the signage. A story of fire and ice. And gases. And gases. A blast from the past. <sighs> and see all these trees here? They're all dying because there's not enough oxygen here. Apparently there was an earthquake in 1982 think so and that in it there was a fault in this whoo can't even speak there was a fault and that's where like all the gas came out out of that fault crazy what better place to enjoy some copper top barbecue dry tip michael brought meat snacks steak snacks on a bike ride i'm so proud of you honey this is why i married you <laughs> mm, so good that's so Tripod mm. mm. set up. This is how the magic happens. I <laughs> Pocket knife and trumps. Dump tripod. So we drove up to the Mona Lake. Look how pretty it is. And this is a volca volcano. I think. Michael thinks so. I and I will believe it. Here. It's all volcanic here, so. But I think that's so cool. Look at that. It's so pretty. to see there's a rock formations called tufas uh, which are calcif calcifications really and they're sticking out out of the water it's make it look really alien-like so Mark Twain called this lake 
the Dead Sea of California because it's so salty. There is no outlet here, it doesn't flow into the ocean, so the only way for water to get out here is to evaporate and it leaves all the salt salty. behind. It tastes salty? Nice. Only really few places work here, and we're going to Mammoth Tavern. <laughs> Having a little stew party with the bismuch. They couldn't see us because the restaurant is only supposed to be half full and they close at 8. So. We have our food and heading home to have a cozy evening and watch Sopranos because that's what a wedding anniversary is like. <laughs> so it's day three, our last day. We already packed and left our condo. I was packing for the whole morning. Uh, we're just gonna grab a little bit of food and head on the way to LA, but before that we're gonna visit two really cool places, so stay with me. <laughs> right now. While the wind comes down, I'm just gonna explain that uh, this area is very geologically active and there's even like a geothermal plant. Uh, some other place we passed and I don't know why I'm so excited about all this like stuff. I mean, it is so cool. It's like creation and destruction at the same time. 
there it is, the hot creek, the hot pools, geothermal pools. So cool, you don't want to get in that water, death. This creek is actually slightly warm and they say there's very good fishing here. Got back from the hot creek and now we're heading to LA and we will stop on our way at the place called Manzanar which was an inter internment camp for Japanese Americans during the World War II. So how crazy is that? <sighs> Sorry, I'm still trying to catch my breath. There's not enough oxygen here. here at Manzanar. Um, as I mentioned, it was an internment camp during the World War II. When, when Japan attacked the United States at Pearl Harbor in 1942, the US government decided that uh, everybody who lives in the States who is of Japanese descent is a threat to the United States. So they brought them all here. It was about 120,000 people. It was not only the uh, Japanese uh, people who were resident aliens here, but actual American citizens who were born to Japanese families here. Um, and uh, they were brought here. I don't think it was uh, like a concentration camp the way it was in Europe, uh, but it was a labor camp with subhuman conditions. Uh, it's very, the winters here are very cold and the summers are very hot. And uh, uh, there's not a lot of buildings left right now. Uh, and so I think they have this auto tour here, so we're just gonna drive around a little and look at what's left. Uh, it was a pretty much a self-sufficient city and they worked here and they lived here. There were farms and orchards and stores and baseball fields. Uh, yeah, I think it's just a very interesting piece of history that not a lot of people know. Uh, sad piece of history. I always thought that it's only Europeans who did these things to themselves, but apparently not. Very sad. It's really windy here. 